Hello friends, welcome back to my presentation and today we are going to have uh, something different uh, from irrigation nitros and then we I thought of you know giving you another you know tutorial on irrigation into nitros interaction suppose you have three levels of irrigation suppose you are giving to wheat crop and uh, three levels of nitrogen so altogether there will be nine treatments where you can work on it so what we do actually we will open the same uh, uh, presentation or same uh, simulation tree that we did last time so what i mean to say because i always want uh, to make my you know simulation very simple because I don't want to show you very complicated things. You can make it complicated or you can work on complicated thing. Once you understand those basic concepts, uh, how to use uh, APSI model and uh, what are its trends and uh, how we can go about it. So, so my opinion, you know, always uh, make, keep the uh, things simple and complicated things you can work on later. So what I did actually, um, if you remember last time, what are those simulations and uh, making it bigger now. So naming, re, uh, naming uh, renaming things, uh, no longer I am not writing here. So if you remember the I4, we, are, you, we have given four irrigations. Remember what are those, you know, look at this uh, management folder manager folder you have irrigation events so one irrigations you have given pre sowing at the time of sowing and uh, four at this stage so total four irrigation suppose i want to uh, give you, you know what i said uh, nine irrigation treatment irrigation in nitrogen interaction so think this is the one which is having four irrigations and what about the nitrogen we applied two splits in 120 kilo that means 100 percent nitrogen so we can rename the simulation suppose one irrigation into 120 kg nitrogen isn't it so now save is <coughs> next what we will do so we have three combinations of nitrogen so second simulation you can make it you can take it uh, you know you can press control and bring it and through arrow key just push it forward and you'll find here suppose same level of what you let make it how much 50% of the recommended or 60 kg nitrogen. Okay, so to do that, if you remember, I told you last time in another simulations, so we'll have to reduce the fertilizer dose by half. So here it was 60 kg. Let's make it 30 here because it's a time of sowing. On a fixed date also, make it 30. That means you have applied four irrigations but 30 kg nitrogen so i'm not making it zero kg now let's reduce that three levels to two levels now so each case i will make uh you can make it okay let's let it be then again go to three irrigation levels let's make it two isn't it one you can rename it you know how to rename it one with 120 kg nitrogen then another with 60 kg 60 kg so here what we'll do i3 with 120 kg it's okay it is there previously because we applied fertilizer 60 kg here and 60 kg here so 120 kg irrigation also three so it is there as such whatever there it earlier it was it remained as such 
and this case i3 with 60 kg so what we'll do we just uh, you know reduce the nitrogen level here to 30 kg to what you did earlier and 30 kg here also he reduced it to 50% nitrogen now you save also this one then in case of IO1 uh, okay no 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 we did the mistake I guess I should have brought this one up I3 I460, I3, let's check whether you have three regressions here or not. If it is correct, then that's fine. No problem. You have two. So it is the wrong one I put it. So let it be. This one should go up, isn't it? Okay, now we've got this one. So we make it I3 into 60 kg. and check whether there are two so i have to make it i1 that's why it is repeatedly it says saying that it cannot two cannot have same name so i just change it again 60 kg now we'll see whether you got 60 kg or not there to make it 30 then make it 30. So friends, we got two treatments now. Then third one, I made it 160. So it should be I1, suppose 120 kg. And see how many irrigations you have applied here and how many. In I1, we have fertilizer. It should be 60-60, isn't it? I just changed that time wrongly. So I made some mistake there. So I am checking it now. So this would be 60. Now 60 kg with two irrigation. Remember, there are two, one pre-sowing, another time of sowing, and two irrigations. So this is done. <coughs> then another, where you don't have, how many irrigations you have here? One irrigations, only at CRI stage, and one at sowing. Isn't it now? Fertilizer dose is 120 kilogram. So let's make this one with this 120 kg nitrogen. Then repeat this one with now bring up. We make it 60 kg. And for that 60 kg, what I need to do, you need to change here the nitrogen. So in 30 and harvesting, after, this is in between after series 30. So see, what I did actually, I had two irrigation level. I have three irrigation levels, so one, two, three, and three nitrogen. 122 nitrogen and three irrigation levels. So altogether one, two, three, four, five, six. Though I initially I thought of giving three nitrogen doses as so three into three nine. You can make it actually. You can have no nitrogen only irrigation water. You can see whether you are adding irrigation water to the levels. That doesn't have any meaning actually. That's why I didn't do that. So what we got altogether? We got four irrigation 120 kilogram nitrogen. We have four irrigation with 50 percent of the recommended dose. That is. 60 kg nitrogen then we have another with three irrigations with 120 kg and three irrigation with 60 kg nitrogen to wait so let's save it another is 120 uh, two irrigations and this is the graph and you know what are those outputs we earlier put this one variables we made it simple day time year and organic carbon extra soil water doesn't matter with organic carbon extra soil water you can have it we can see that one also doesn't matter but at this stage biomass yield all those things we have a reported frequency we are giving it at harvesting and same climate file we have taken having clock over 10 years of simulation nine year simulations 
and now what we'll do we'll run it and make a graph and have some interpretation on this it should work if there is a problem it will stop somewhere and we have to find out where the problem lies friends let's hope for the best that it should work so it takes some time because there are you know six simulation three um, combination treatment combination and ten years simulation. it takes some time though i have given harvesting but you can get out on daily basis you know apps in works on daily basis but it will take more time and depends upon how fast is your computer or laptop you are using and um, in that case it will be faster otherwise it's mine is relatively faster it is i7 processor so i'm going to get the result this is completed 100 percent you can see this one here so we'll go to graphs then x y then see there are so many things in the graph you can do by yourself i'm not uh, telling you all those things probably one day i'll tell you about the probability of accidents or some other chat forms so here x y then go to don't worry about this, this is the previous one because it was saved already then go to plot then absim file reader i read out the file i remember where your input file it is there so look at this this three we need then we need four five okay we need all those things output so let's see how it goes so we got all those output uh, you know and uh, go to the plot and see how you have got so what we'll do i'm just taking most of the things out i will just choose some of them you don't need all biomass suppose if you want to compare the yield or biomass let's see so let's see how this two behave with 100 kg nitrogen and 50 kg nitrogen. See, same level of irrigation and look at those yield level. That means having 50% nitrogen cellulose, we have tested that one, but you can see this irrigation level and nitrogen interaction. Let's see if we put 120 kg nitrogen with 3 irrigation where it is. That means it's coming closer to 4 irrigations and 3 irrigations. Some cases and depends upon the year where there is you know due to dry period, temperature rises, then that time the irrigation level has worked wonder. Then we go for I3 with 60 kg nitrogen. That means I3 3 irrigation 60 kg and uh, look at this these two behave similarly 3 irrigation 60 kg nitrogen and 4 irrigation with 50 kg that means um, when you when you have enough irrigation water you don't have nitrogen then relatively the yield levels remain the same even if you have given one more irrigation so how much nitrogen is important you can guess from here so from this type of graphs or figures you can easily interpret your results See all those irrigation levels and all the things you can find it here. Uh, that mean to say that with uh, you know levels of irrigation you can have interaction and you can see uh, where that interaction is significant, non-significant. So if it is non-significant, that means you can save irrigation water. If it is non-significant, you can save also nitrogen. Also, uh, friends, uh, this is just another example to show that how AppSim can work and how you can. Uh, work with AppSim model and um, work on according to your treatment combinations and this is just an example to show you that how uh, nitrogen and irrigation water interaction can be carried out you know simulations can be carried using AppSim model from your experiments so thank you friends thank you for watching so if you have a doubt just uh, put the notes or comments on my video and uh, you'll get the feedback and you'll get the replies Thank you very much. Thank you for your attention. Bye-bye.